the city of Summit is proud of its long history and deep roots. For the past five years, Summit has been honoring its veterans in a unique and meaningful way, with a small but powerful gesture that says, we remember you, we appreciate you, and we are proud of you. I think it's important to show the citizens of Summit that their neighbors and fellow residents have served in the military, and it's not just what you are getting on the train going to New York City. I think it's exceptionally important that the people in Summit know who the veterans are among, among us. Some gave a lot, and a lot of them gave all. Take a look at these banners hanging from the lampposts. They display the names and pictures of the town's military veterans. Each banner represents a hero who served our country with honor and distinction. I think this program is important for some obvious reasons. The people that we're honoring have made a great sacrifice to serve in the armed forces, and they deserve our honor and respect, and we owe them a duty to remember them. I think the program is also important because it connects the current residents of the city of Summit with our history. It made me very pleased to see my face up there, along with a lot of people whom I've known for the years, some of whom are gone, and the matter is a nice remembrance of them, and some of them who've recently left the military service. The banner program has been a great enhancement to our community. Going to Summit High School, I had no idea that there were military members in our community and it never occurred to me as a career path, like it wasn't something that people from Summit do. And I think that bringing awareness to that, helping our high schoolers understand what opportunities might be available to them and also to know who to say thank you to is a really important thing. This was me when I was 22, off to Vietnam from the University of Wisconsin-Madison and I was very proud to have served in Vietnam. I'm very proud of the, all the soldiers. So when I see my banner, um, it, it gives me such pride to be a part of Summit. And um, it, it keeps alive the souls that passed away. The picture's up, and people pass by and see those things. And uh, even if they have no family members, it's always a remembrance to know that those people are up here for uh, you know, representing Summit and what they did from all the wars. My grandfather, uh, Harold Allen Finch, served in the United States Navy from 1942 to 1946 as a signalman second class. Unfortunately, I never got to meet him, but I think it's just really refreshing to see that even though he has passed on, um, you know, his legacy and other family members, their legacies are still continuing to be shared with the members in the community. These memorials on Village Green are another testament to our commitment to honoring Summit's veterans. The names of those who gave their lives for their country are engraved on these monuments. It is a solemn reminder of the sacrifices that were made and a tribute to the brave men and women who made them. Walking around town and seeing the faces of over 200 people I think really connects us to our past. It shows in a visible way what some people say verbally, which is thank you for your service. These banners are more than just decorations. They're symbols of a community that cares deeply about its veterans. They serve as a reminder that the sacrifices made by these men and women will never be forgotten. To see myself up there, hopefully it will be an inspiration for young people to possibly think about service to their country, to give back what this country has been so generous to give to me. I think it just is great that the town is recognizing the military veterans and those that served in the military. And again, as a reminder that some, like every town in America, does this part to protect and defend our country. And every time I see the banner, it's, it just lights my soul up. So when you are downtown, please take a moment to look up at the banners and to remember with gratitude the brave men and women who serve and protect our country.